me and Lord Jamar had gone back and forth about this. Yeah, he's yeah, a big yeah. Dr. Sebi supporter. And Facts. at the end of our, our last conversation, I basically said that, look, you know, he, he told me how much in the black community Dr. Sebi is revered. Absolutely. As an elder. And that's why he felt like the backlash around our interviews. And I, I could respect that. And so at the end of our interview, I said, listen, if you do believe in what Dr. Sebi is doing, here is the website you can go to and... You know, they have this one package for so-and-so dollars and, you know, you could order it, you know. And then I remember after I did that, they were like, well, that's the wrong website. You know, his wife took that over. That's the wrong. Yeah, and it's like, I can't win. No matter what I do, but if I help support him, I'm doing a disservice also. So <laughs> I think that's where a lot of the conspiracies come from uh, and a lot of the inconsistencies in how to understand. Uh, because you tapped on something very real is that in our community, we have a lack of leaders. Uh, so when you can find a, a man who was constantly trying to enrich, empower, uh, inform, and heal his people, um, by any means, you know what I mean? He wasn't a dude that was about money, or, or even if there were people around him who were about money, he was never that. So when those messages get convoluted and clouded, the people who support him are going to be angry. So it's whether whether it's you uh, questioning or or even denouncing certain things when it comes to the medical field, or it it just creates more confusion. Or or even you giving out a website to start. It's going to be it's so much confusion. So that's even you know my goal as I I, I dove deep into trying to tell the story from we don't we went to Honduras, we went to Africa, we went we go all over the place to really just get the truth so we can lay it out there. And the, one of the the truths that I found and has been consistent throughout the process is that this was a man that was just really trying to help his people. So whether it was through the African viral mineral process and what he created, where really what he stated is like you can tell you can talk about all the the doctors and laboratories that all these chemicals are tested in, but they stole all our laboratories from us. They, they they, they, don't, we, they, they brought us over here and didn't bring our diet with us. They didn't bring our food with us. So how can you put my teachings and, and my understandings of the earth and the minerals that help build my people up for ages and say that these are wrong because your medical field says so? Like that in itself, that concept right there just makes it makes someone like you look like, oh, well, you believe what the white man believes or you, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's that process, because he's saying, I don't care what you say. My results is that I'm helping people and people are being healed. So through that process, I got to rock with him and I got to believe it. Well, yeah. And I understand that in the black community, there has been some really some hideous things that were done by America. From the Tuskegee, Cohen Tail Pro, uh, um, the list know, goes you, on. You can go back to to uh, Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood yeah. was started Margaret as a Sanger. way. Yeah, it was a way to. We talk about st- all yeah, of to that. Sterilize blacks and Jews. They literally <laughs> said it. Like, like, like that was the purpose of starting it to try to get you, blacks and Jews. People don't to understand what eugenics are. Where they said they wanted to get rid of all the feeble-minded and that the Negro people were lesser than, and that in order to preserve the ultimate race, they had to do away with all the others. That's eugenics. That's what, right. That's the same thing that Hitler believed. Hitler got his blueprint from the eugenics that were created here in the United States. It's crazy. So I understand when a black man steps forward and says that America has secretly been lying to you, and I have the cure and everything they're telling you is false, I can understand how people gravitate towards that because there's actual proof of that happening yeah, throughout history. I Ab- get it. Absolutely. But that should not be a reason to follow someone just because, you know, there were a few few of these instances throughout history. That, that does not mean that you throw out everything that has to do with modern medicine. Yeah, but let me, like, I'd have to take a step back because I don't want this to be, like, a race thing either because Sabi definitely wasn't all about a race thing. As much as he taught the African biomineral process, which is really saying, he's like, yo, you don't feed lions the foods of the gorillas. You don't feed eagles the food of the giraffes. That everybody, every species has their own food that allows their body to operate properly. So therefore, there's certain regions and areas where people are dwell that they eat those foods that and when you start putting other foods in there that don't mix or foods that become hybrid foods because as 
we start to create all of these foods that aren't real foods like carrots and and carrots aren't real food. Ca- they're a hybrid food. It's huh. a it's a food where someone on this planet took one food one herb or natural plant and mixed it with another one and created this. Therefore, you threw God off. So outside of the race aspect of it, it's just certain things as humans that we're supposed to put into our body. And when you when you do that properly, you can defeat you allow your body to be that self healing organism. You can defeat so many things because then there becomes a lack of mucus in your system. And when there's a lack of when there's a lot of mucus, then your body and your immune system is thrown off. So I think as much as we want to say, you know, because Sabi was all about his people, but he wanted to help all people and he did help all people. And what he did, he just stripped down their diets and, and put them in environments to where their body was able to heal itself. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing the yeah, documentary. We go deep, man. Yeah, like, and, uh, but I mean, it's just everything that we talked about to that thing of why do we believe conspiracies? And then how does Sabi play into that idea? And then ultimately at the end, you know, get into the truth. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. It's coming out soon? Yeah, man. You, this is the funny thing, because I see online every day. Man, where that documentary? I thought the marathon continued. You was just bullshitting. You was like, if, if anybody understands how films are put together. It takes a while. It takes a while. So I'm only, it's only been a couple of months, yeah. and I've been putting my foot in it, depending on also when you think about the timing of everything that you just said of all my occupations. This is one of the number one priorities on my list, but everything from all of the families that are involved to finding the footage like you don't know how hard it was to actually go and find the actual case like and it's thousands of documents it ain't like okay it's like this that we got to research and go through and understand like so it's it's not a small feat by any means but my goal is still to be done with it this year so it's uh but you know it's it's funny because you just see the ignorance on online where even like where people are like, oh, Nick Cannon, he, he cancels the Dr. Sabi documentary because he's scared for his life. Like, come on, man. Like, but it just, it just, you, you saw it just catch fire like that, where they say, like, you know, uh, uh, a lie can run across the world three times before the truth can put his shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, it's so crazy that people want to believe the bullshit. Like, people love to be lied to. Yeah. 